What is going on guys? It's me, I'm back with a video. It's been a long time. Um, I had a look yesterday, I think it's been like two months. Um, so yeah, long overdue this video. Um, the last video you saw, I had the Astra. Um, obviously I've got my car back now. Um, so we're just gonna run through everything I've done to my car. Now I've had this car just over a year now. Um, I've done 22,000 miles on it. Um, and the only thing to go wrong with it is the gearbox killed itself, which was pretty much my fault. So after 22,000 miles, I've done about 8,000 at stage three, which is about 250 brake, 240 brake. Um, that's it, the only thing that's gone wrong is the gearbox, um, which I'm shocked. So yeah, we're gonna run down everything I've done to this car in the year I've owned it. So the first thing I did was, um, on the original exhaust, I did a silencer delete, which pretty much takes out the silencer. I think the silencer was about this long. Um, I'll put a picture of it somewhere on the screen um, next to the de the desilence pipe. Um, got that from Enhanced Performance. Um, there'll be a video up somewhere on the screen um, that shows you what it sounded like. Um, that was the very first thing I did. Um, I threw a GoPro on the back and went out and uh, just went driving about. Um, it's not a very long video, it's about 30 seconds I think, so if you want to check that out, go there. Um, then after that, I, um, what did I do after that? Well, we'll stick with the exhaust, because that's mainly what I've done. Um, I got a custom back box off a guy with a Nürburgring, um, fitted it in a few hours on the drive in the cold, um, before I had the ramp. Um, so we did. I did that, um, so then I had uh, still had the cat, I had the standard downpipe um, with the flexor joint, that bit that comes up. Um, I had the silencer delete and then a custom back box. Um, the weird, uh, again, there'll be a video on the screen somewhere, probably in the same place, uh, probably over there somewhere, um, of what that sounded like. Um, I really liked that back box, um, I loved it. Um, and then I planned to put a decat on it, so I would have had the enhanced performance decat, standard uh, downpipe, enhanced performance. Uh, silent to delete and then a custom back box. Um, so I bought the decat. Um, uh, it took a while to come, so by that time, pretty much the day it came, I got my hands on the Piper turbo back exhaust, which for the price it was, it was stupid not to get it. So what I did, I sold the decat and the back box and the silent to delete, not all to the same people. Um, sold the decat and the back box to the same person, and I sold the uh, Signs to delete someone else, but I got quite a bit of money back for that. Um, I got, I think I got about, I got my money back on what I paid for it all, which was good. Um, so then I got the Piper Turbo back non res decat. Um, so there's no cats, there's a single res, which is the back box, which you might just be able to see there. Just that single back box, that's it. Um, two huge tips hanging out the back. Um, when I first got it, I had the tips out huge, huge, like really far. Um, like you could probably walk into them and trip over on them, they were out so much, so I'll put them back as far as I can, um, you can still see them, they still look awesome, um, and because they're so thin, people said you can't really see them, uh, so yeah, apparently it does spit flames as well, I've not got any of that on camera, um, I need to go out and put the GoPro on the back and just go playing around again, but apparently it spits flames, who knows, um, so yeah, so that was the exhaust. Then, um, from the same guy I got the exhaust from, I got the AirTech front, inter front mount intercooler. Um, so I threw that on, and then we're ready for stage three. Went and got that remapped at Courtney's. Um, so yeah, that was that was a fun day. Um, we got two, two thirty nine, two thirty seven, so like that, around two forty break. Um, there's, I did make a video when I was there, or not really made. It was on my phone. It was really shitty, but um, that'll be screen somewhere. If you want to go check that out. So yeah, that was pretty much all the engine stuff. Um, I've lowered it on Airbag Sport Lines. Um, got them off a guy with a D, really cheap. Um, most of the things I got were really cheap. Uh, so yeah, I got them and lowered it. It looks so much better. There is zero arch gap. Um, it looks so much better. Just sits a lot nicer. Um, and because this did have a performance, well, it still has a performance pack. The springs on that were a bit hard. Um, I loved them, but they were a bit hard. So these are just a bit softer. Um, but I'm changing them out for some Bilstein B14 coilovers soon. Um, I've got them ordered, but there's, they're on back order or something, so they've been on back order for ages, so I might just cancel that and get them somewhere else. Um, so, yeah, that's them. Um, and then, once we're that, we're going to go with some wheels, because I don't know if I've said this, but I hate these wheels. Um, absolutely hate them. That's why they're curved up to fuck if you've ever seen this car, uh, especially the front left. I don't give a damn about these wheels. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it's dropped it all around. Um, I don't know what it, how much it's dropped it by um, because I, they're actually 40-30 springs, but the VXR is already lower anyway, so it's only about 20 mil all around. 
but it just looks so much cleaner. Um, so we did the springs, then I took all the back seats out and put a strut brace in and did my custom piece of wood over the top of where the seats were just so it was a lot cleaner, I covered it in carpet, um, there's a picture on the screen now somewhere over there, probably on my face, um, just what it looks like, so yeah. Also I got a sub, I, you already know this, got the sub in the back um, with the, no back seats in it, it's so good. It's only a little 10 inch vibe but it's so good, it packs a good punch. Um, sticking with audio, I've changed the front speakers in this, um, that was not fun, I've actually got the old ones up there, um, the old papery crappy ones, so now I can get it up to about 50 and it doesn't clip, there's nothing, there's no distortion, it's, it is amazing and because I do so many miles in this car everyone's there like why don't you change the speakers, I'm like because I do so many miles and I listen to music all the time, I can't be dealing with shit sound. Um, so yeah, so I've also sprayed the seat inserts wide. They're not a very good job. I need to sand them back and do them properly. It was a quick Friday afternoon thing. Um, but yeah, it was. It looks good. Um, what else have I done? I've done, um, tried to change the R3 head unit to an R4. Didn't work. Um, I've still got an R4 unit. R4 unit. Um, well, it's got some dressel bolts in the uh, engine bay. Um, uh, what else have I got? I've got um, enhanced performance induction kit, which was I think the very first thing I did, or the second thing, um, got that from Enhanced Performance, that's, that's about it. So a year on, um, I'm still in love with this car, it still pulls like a train, still leaves stuff at the traffic lights, um, it's just an insane car. The amount of grip it has, even in the wet, when I've got stupid people behind me just trying to, and they just can't keep up, it's crazy. Everyone thinks, I don't think people really know what it is still yet, um, they just think it's a Corsa. Because um, there's so many, around where I live there's so many white limited editions, I think they just think it's another limited edition, but it's not. Um, so yeah, my plans for this car, well I was going to go full stupid crazy power, but I think we're just going to stick at what it is. I might forge it and then see what we do, um, but if I do I won't go crazy, I'll probably just go like 300 brake, because that'll be easy, that's a, I think if you just throw on a Caro 4 turbo off an Astra, good to go, um, so forge it, Caro 4, I think that's the route I'm going to go, um, otherwise too much power, it's just stupid, um, so yeah, also I'm thinking about changing the colour, I love the white, but I want it something crazy, so that, um, I don't know, we might, we might do that, um, so yeah, it's been a good year, um, there's a few marks on the paintwork. I've just uh, done a, just waxed it again for the winter, sealed it. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how long that lasts. Um, I don't normally do it in here, yeah, but it was a bit cold outside, so I thought I'd do it in here, and then I dropped the bed down. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how long that lasts, um, and you should see it tootling around somewhere if you're anywhere near me. Um, you'll hear me coming before you see me, because it's not quite a car. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, um, there is another video coming next week, um, I've nearly finished the editing, it's not anything crazy but there's a lot of work that's gone into it, um, but I just wanted to make sure, I wanted to do a video quickly that I can just throw up there and explain where the hell I've been, oh, I haven't really done that, but whatever, I um, wanted to see your guys' faces so you can see my face again, and I'll check you guys out in the next video.